Hello to the internet. My name's Craig Montgomery and we're here to talk about who even am I? So, I went to New York this weekend, this past weekend. I actually returned yesterday. I'm recording this video late. Uh, and I had a lot of fun and I did a lot of new things and I have a lot of thoughts. So, today's video might get a little rambly. I'll try and keep it a not, not so bad. I'll try. <laughs> My friend Emma asked me to go on a trip to New York about a month and a half ago to go to a Dresden Dolls concert and I was like reluctant because I've never been super into the idea of New York. I've always heard it's so busy, it's so dirty, it's so much and I'm not really into those things. Um, I don't do well with like high paced environments so I just always thought it was going to be too much for me. Um, but I decided to challenge myself because I've been exploring new things and my anxiety's like been doing a lot better. So I was like, you know what, why not? Why not now? It's a quick weekend trip. Let's do it. So went and had a blast. It was so much fun. New York is really cool and not nearly as dirty as everyone talks about and not nearly as busy and there weren't nearly as many people. And I mean, I've lived in Chicago for four years now, so I definitely had an easier time acclimating to the environment than I would have had, say, if I just visited New York straight from Louisiana. But it was really nice. It was a lot of fun. And the concert was incredible. The Dresden Dolls are so amazing live. I had such a good time. It was such a lively crowd. They did, their set was amazing. Everything about it, just good, good, good. So much fun. Um, and I, toyed with gender norms a little bit this weekend. I painted my nails and I wore some eyeliner and I'll show a picture maybe right here-ish. Um, and it was fun. It was, it was really fun to express myself that way. It was fun to do it in a place where I didn't feel like I was endangering myself by doing it. Um, and I have a lot of thoughts about what that means. Um, and preface, I am still educating myself on gender and what it means, so if you identify outside of the gender binary that our society currently accepts, um, I really hope that none of my language offends you, because I don't mean to by any means necessary. As a gay male, I do sort of, I guess, like push the boundaries of what is expected of a male gender in our society, and so by proxy I'm exploring what that means. Um, and it's actually, I guess it's kind of trendy in the gay community right now to be painting nails. It's like a, it's a thing, it's not so much seen as like anything that's actually moving away from identifying as male. As I identify as male, I don't have any confusion about my internalized or physical gender, painting my nails and wearing some eyeliner, which is makeup, you know, doing these things that are classically seen as a feminine only expression in our society um, really made me realize, I guess, like how silly <laughs> gender norms are and just how pointless it is. And um, I've been putting a lot of thought into that. And so I wanted to do a video it took me a really long time to get here. I wanted to do a video on what it means to be normal and why that is even a concept. Because I didn't really realize how much normal was controlling my behaviors until 28 years old, weekend trip in New York, wearing fingernail polish on my hands. I was having a conversation with one of my best friends recently and we were talking about some stuff and she told me that she just so desperately wanted to be normal. And I replied to her that, I think the words I said were, normal is a fabricated construct of perfection assigned to us by society. Um, because you know, I like using words like I'm fancy and whatever. But I do think there's a lot of like what I mean behind those words big chunky words. Um, normal's fake. Normal's not really a thing. There's no actual sense of normal, but we have these constructed sense of expectations that we place on people by what category we have them in in our mind, and that's normal. It's normal to behave within these aspects. 
any category you can place somebody in, age, gender, sexual orientation, skin color, nationality, we have these categories in our brain and behaviors that we expect out of them, the stereotypes. The stereotypes become normalized and that's what we expect. And I didn't really realize how powerfully that shapes even just my own expectations of my behavior and how I should be presenting to society. And it was very eye-opening to challenge that and, and feel what that felt like inside and see how people respond to it in the real world. And even coming back from New York to Chicago, my nails were still painted when I flew in and I felt myself ashamed of my nails. In New York, I was fine. I was like, I'm celebrating this. This is cool and fun and no big deal. And I came back to Chicago and sort of immediately had a sense of, I need to hide my hands. I, you know, I need to take this off. I need to make sure that I am not having that. And it's so interesting because there are two big cities, both with pretty diverse populations. I don't know if it's because Chicago is my home or because I feel that there's still a little bit of um, hostility in certain areas in Chicago towards gays. Um, maybe it was my unfamiliarity with New York where I was just like blindly assuming that no matter where I went, I got a free pass for being in New York. Who knows? But there was a definite shift. There was a shift in my own expectations of what that meant and how I was presenting. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that and I want to continue exploring that and to educate myself more on what gender means and I just think it's really important for us to start thinking about that as a society because it's controlling us in a lot of ways that I don't think are necessary or appropriate. Um, I mean, and I was talking to my roommates about the fingernail polish and how it was kind of silly that it, it felt like such a big deal. And the analogy that I used is um, men piercing their ears, even 10 or 15 years ago, used to be a really big deal and it was considered very feminine. Um, and I remember when I was growing up, it was like if your left ear was pierced, you were definitely gay. That was like the rule. And now it's like, not a big deal at all. I wouldn't even think twice if I saw a guy with pierced ears. I wouldn't think about what does that mean. I would just think he wanted to pierce his ears. He likes the earrings. He's wearing whatever. It doesn't carry any meaning at all. It's just the way that he's expressing himself. And the same goes for anything that we do with our bodies. There's no logical sense in a dress being feminine or high heels being feminine, a three-piece suit being masculine. The things that we have in our society assigned as gender specific are completely benign. There's no reasoning behind them. And it's really silly how stuck we get on holding on to those norms and limiting ourselves and our peers because we're so concerned with keeping protection over those categories. Um, and I really think that's what it is. I think that we get scared of losing the ability to categorize because it's so much of how we view the world and, and build our expectations about what's going to be going on. I don't know, I'm really interested in that. Um, so I wanted to share that experience. I wanted to Kind of open that up and you know if you're maybe going through something where you're feeling challenged about you know i should be normal um really sit down with that idea of what what does normal mean in that situation why do you feel a sense to to need to be normal because when i think about the people in my life that i'm most fond of or that i have the strongest connection with I'm not connecting with them over things that make them normal. I'm really latching on to things that make them special, things that I notice about them that are different. And um, something that's really beautiful that I've always heard is um, you fall in love with the flaws in people. You know, we have so much insecurity built around our own flaws. We get really caught up on what does it mean for me to not meet this perfect image or this perfect behavior. Um, but when I, when I think about the people in my life that I love, the things that I love about them, I specifically use words of 
ways that they move away from the normal. I love that their laugh is loud, not that they have a perfect, beautiful laugh. I love the way that when they smile, their cheek goes a little askew. Um, so it's, it's literally those small imperfections that catch my eye and that's what I'm really holding on to when I think about that person. Um, and so I think that that's something to kind of meditate on if that's something that you're dealing with, that flaws are okay um, and we should really move towards accepting them and letting go of these constructed norms that are handed to us by someone else because when there's something as powerful as normalized behavior shaping your expectations and your own um, way of moving through the world, I think it's a really good idea to challenge that idea, even if it's even if you end up staying with it, but just sitting down with it and saying like, is this serving me well? Is this helping me be the best me that I can be? Or is this a shadow influence in my life? really limiting me in the way that I'm able to express myself and the way that I'm able to relate with other people. Um, simply, I guess I'm just saying that from firsthand experience. I've had a lot of um, misled beliefs handed down to me that challenging and growing through and moving out of has been very beneficial. Um, and it can be kind of scary because you don't really know what's on the other side but not once have I moved through that process and not been thankful for the experience and felt like I had grown in a positive way. So I really just think that um, normal is toxic, I guess I'd say. I'd probably go as far as that, saying that normal is toxic. It is... Uh, not that things that are normal are bad, but the idea of normal is built around moving towards perfection. And perfection is just unattainable and boring and not something that we should be striving for. And it's really frustrating how much that's force fed to us through the magazines and the media and all of the imagery that we have built in our society, just really begging for perfection um, when we should really concentrate on celebrating our differences. So that's general topics. I'm probably going to have more thoughts on this after I edit it and I'm like, oh, I should have said all these things. So um, I might be doing future videos along this lines. So if you'd like me to, let me know. Um, if you like this video, liked it. If you like what I've been talking about, subscribe. Um, leave me a comment about what kind of things that you struggle with in the terms of norms. You know, what what challenges you there? I'm really curious. Um, so, yeah. As always, take care of yourself. time to get here.